What's up you guys? Welcome to another vlog. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my grocery slash fridge prep and then what I eat for breakfast in the morning, if you're interested. It really surprised me on one of my last videos. I asked you guys if you wanted fridge prep videos and I was bombarded with people asking me for it. I got probably a hundred comments asking me, so that blew my mind and I thought it would be like incredibly boring to just be chopping up vegetables and putting them in mason jars, but you guys wanted to see it and I'll film usually, calm down, what you guys ask me for. So I wanna start this video by saying everything that I use is going to be linked in the description box down below. My recipe for my frittatas that I make will be linked down below, even though you do see me making them. I know it's easier if you just have it written down, so I'm gonna to try to do that in the description box. I'm not the best content creator in the world. I forget to link things and do the description box all the time, but I'm gonna try my best. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not a professional vegetable chopper. I'm not a professional organizer. This is just me in my everyday life. Is there probably a better way to do what I'm doing? Yes. Do I chop vegetables weird? Also, yes. Um, but you know what? Is it smaller, Janet? Then it's not wrong. If you guys wanna see me do other things around my house, just let me know in the comment section. I can show you cleaning videos, spring cleaning, laundry routines for a family of four, whatever you guys wanna see. I would be more than happy to film those videos for you guys. I love organizing my house, which is a very bold statement from somebody who's not as organized as she would like to be um, because I have two kids and two dogs and it's a big house. So my house is pretty messy all the time, but I really do love getting organized. So I can show you guys my techniques with trying my best to stay organized. And I just want to throw in here, her house was so clean said no obituary ever. <laughs> so keep that in mind. Um, it does not matter if you have the cleanest house in the world. And I'm saying that because I used to be so hard on myself for working full time out of the home, having Micah in daycare, running all around, and my house is always a mess. Now that I work from home full time and I have the kids, my house is just always dirty. And I remember thinking, man, if I was a stay at home mom, my house could be clean. What? No. No, nope, that's, that's just not a reality. I remember thinking, man, my life would be so much better if I was a stay-at-home mom. And now I work full-time and I'm a stay-at-home mom and we had, you know, the, the COVID. So I had to do homeschooling and my job and raise the kids. It was so mentally exhausting. And like literally from the minute I open my eyes to the minute I close my eyes, I'm at work in some capacity. And it's very difficult. So don't be too hard on yourself if your house is messy for whatever reason, like that just is on my heart to say today. If you work outside of the home and have kids, if you work inside of the home and have kids, it is hard, life is just hard. So don't be too hard on yourself if that house is messy. No one's gonna put that on your tombstone. Becky had cobwebs in her ceiling. like. That's not going to be written on your tombstone. No one cares. Go live your life. Enjoy, enjoy the time that you have here. So in this fridge prep video that you're going to see, it's just me doing my best. I'm not a professional. All right, let's jump on into the video. Okay, so I'm going to start with all of the vegetables and fruit that I plan to prep. I kind of just lay it all out so I know what I'm working with. And then I rinse everything off. I will link that colander or strainer down below. And then I start chopping and I do broccoli first because to me it's the most annoying and it just gets so messy. I also like to have the broccoli like pretty small because it's gonna go in a frittata. So I only like the tops of the trees. I don't like the trunk. <laughs> So then I am doing asparagus and this was completely pointless to put in a jar because I made all of that for dinner. So you can't tell, but out of frame, I actually have a little paper bag on the ground so that I can put all the garbage in. It just makes this process go a lot faster. So 
So for me, I don't write down the expiration date on these mason jars, and that's just because we go through this stuff so fast. We cannot keep produce in our house. My kids will eat a whole two pound thing of strawberries in one sitting. So these are my cherry tomatoes that I grew myself outside. Aren't they so cute? I'm just so proud of myself that I can like grow things now. So these portobello mushrooms are actually what I'm making for dinner tonight. I made stuffed mushrooms, so they're not gonna go in a jar. So what's really interesting about doing this food prep is my produce lasts so much longer now. So even if we didn't devour this like it was our literal job, like trash pandas, they would last about two weeks in the fridge. And man, these nails make it so hard to chop things, so don't judge me. Because this is usually going in my frittata, I cut them into squares. If I was going to do roasted vegetables as like a side dish for the week, then I would leave them in like little strips, if that makes sense. I wouldn't cube them or dice them or whatever you call it. So sometimes I'll dice them, sometimes I'll leave them in strips if I'm gonna put them in a dish. I think all in all, this takes me about an hour and a half to go through everything and clean everything and chop everything, but it's totally worth it because I end up saving so much time. And the produce doesn't go bad because I know what's available, I know what's fresh, it's all done ahead of time and I can just reach for it and it's just so easy throughout the week. So just a little bit of effort one day makes my whole week go so much easier. These are mini jalapeno peppers that I grew, and I don't know why this clip is out of order, <laughs> but I'm gonna put those in there too. This is an herb holder thingy that I got from Amazon, and I'll link that down below. But I grew all of these herbs in my herb garden. So a lot of my recipes this week call for garlic. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to peel them and put the garlic in a smaller mason jar and put that in my fridge. If you're gonna do this, you wanna make sure it's in an airtight container so, so that other things don't smell like garlic in your fridge. That last, you know, a while in the fridge in an air seal container. Make sure to leave garlic at room temperature if you don't peel it. So this is the final product and everything just looks so pretty. So the next morning I will pull all this stuff out of the fridge and do my frittata. So I put peppers and broccoli and spinach in a pan. 
add some salt. That's what it looks like without the eggs. You see, it's just so much easier and I feel, I feel like I, I'm more willing to eat healthy if this work is just done ahead of time. I am not a morning person. I don't typically like to eat breakfast, but this just makes it so much easier for me. So each morning I have a frittata with a side of berries. And I top it with just a little bit of cheese. Look at that steam. So dreamy. <laughs> All right, you guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.